Hello, this is David Knight, and we're talking about hope and staying strong through the COVID pandemic. Hey, folks, yes, it's David. It's OK Boomer Show, and we're doing a special kind of story on what's going on in the world today. So uh, welcome, and I hope you're all staying strong, uh, fit and healthy, etc. cetera. Um, as you can see, I got my Vegemite with me, great source of vitamin B. You've heard about Vegemite in the great song Vegemite Sandwich. Um, I just got back from Australia last week, so uh, I want to tell you a little bit about that. Uh, but hopefully just you know, give you guys some thoughts uh, from, you know, a boomer generation on, w- on what's actually going on. So, you know, I think the, the number one thing for me is just tell everybody to be safe, right? Uh, look after yourself. And I think that's both physically and emotionally, right? Um, so lots of stress, lots of unknowns, um, lots of different kind of points of view from probably friends, family, and the news. Uh, but just be smart about what you're doing. Um, and, be there for your loved ones. So friends, family, it's a great opportunity as everybody, you know, is at home or, you know, looking for things to do, pick up the phone, you know, call friends, call family, support them, swap stories, and, you know, look for some, some, for some fun stories to share, right? Um, this will pass, you know, at some point, hopefully fairly soon, but use this time to, you know, just encourage people, tell jokes, um, you know, swap stories, swap books to read, swap puzzles to complete, you know, swap movies to watch on Netflix, but, you know, really spend the time, you know, either patching up relationships that might have gone stale or, you know, tell somebody that you love them. But I think that's really, really important. So, you know, think about, you know, your own, ki- your, your own well-being, your own health, as well as those that are around you. Um, I spent yesterday picking up the phone talking to some to some friends that I hadn't connected with for a while, <clears throat> you know, and we're all going through the, the same stuff. So, you know, I think people appreciate, you know, talking to somebody on the on the phone, especially if they've been, you know, locked up at home for, you know, days or weeks. Um, so just to give you a kind of a, a quick story. So at the beginning of the month, prior to all this craziness happening you know it was my birthday and I was speaking to my mom who's back in Sydney she's 85 and uh, I just felt that it was time to go see her so I jumped on a plane got to Australia you know spent some really valuable time with my mom um, and I thought that was just a great um, great opportunity for me to, to spend time with her and then this whole thing started to go pear shaped so here I am in Australia um, you know trying to get back and uh, as it turned out I got the last American Airlines flight coming out of uh, Sydney. So uh, it was pretty interesting to see uh, what was originally going to be a very empty flight. Um, It was actually completely full because everybody who had flights coming out of Australia over the next week were accelerated to to kind of get home. So um, interesting dimensions of how people were reacting. You know, everybody was pretty positive. You know, lots of people with masks on. And, uh, you know, I've been back now over a week and feel great and healthy. So touch wood that I'm, I'm kind of through any kind of exposure. But, you know, trying to stay safe, trying to stay, you know, self-isolated, et cetera. Um, the, other, the other part of my trip, I caught up with my high school buddies. And, uh, you know, it was like a 39th year reunion. And it probably couldn't have happened at a better time. So... Uh, sad story, one of our guys from the uh, year of 81 uh, committed suicide about six months ago. So this, this trip was in the works, and everybody wanted to get together, you know, checking in um, how people's health were, how people's mental health was. So we actually got into some pretty deep stories about, again, the importance of friendship, the importance of support, and, uh, you know, how people handle stress. And... Uh, you know, it was just really, a, for me, a really valuable time. And, you know, we put together a WhatsApp chat for, you know, the 20 people that got together. I landed in Sydney, you know, got picked up by a high school buddy. We drove three or four hours over the mountains to the most beautiful little country towns um, in the western plains of, uh, of New South Wales. And we met at an old pub. We had some beers. And, boy, the stories were just uh, 
very, you know, it's amazing how these stories have grown over the last uh, nearly 40 years on what actually went on um, in high school. Um, so I'm back, um, you know, I'm working here, um, you know, mostly remotely for, at PIN Business Network. We're supporting, you know, a lot of critical businesses right now. So with uh, some of our clients are in the healthcare space, obviously a priority. Um, so if you're here in Colorado and need to get checked out, go to, to, to On Point. And then probably most importantly is we're supporting the restaurant business here in, in Colorado. Um, you've probably seen all the news, you know, restaurants have been closed to the public now for several weeks. Um, there's 250,000 restaurant employees that, you know, most of those folks don't have a job right now. Um, you know, thank goodness the governments are kind of starting to find ways to financially support. Uh, but those restaurants are a key kind of, uh, you know, uh, channel. And a lot of our clients have now switched towards, um, you know, curbside pickup, uh, takeaway, and those that offer delivery, you know, you can have uh, food delivered to your house. So if you're interested in that, check out local dot ocneats.com um, our clients are coming board if you're a restaurateur you know go to that site you know log on it's free um, pin business network through ocn eats is also offering um, help to our clients um, both current and new for free for the next 90 days so again a great initiative for what we're doing uh, very important that we keep you know restaurants alive through this trying time so, uh, so a really strong initiative. Um, we're developing a lot of content for that through Larry and the team. And, uh, you know, again, just, just really, you know, really great opportunity for uh, everybody out there to connect with their local restaurants, to keep them supported. So through this site, you can connect through um, placing an order. Um, you can see the menus online. And also importantly, you can make, um, you know, you can buy gift cards for the future that you can use either online or ideally when the restaurants are back open. And you can also, uh, through, through the site, provide a tip um, to the restaurants. Again, just those tips are really helpful. So to keep the staff, you know, um, paid, to keep the staff financially viable as we're going through all these, these tough, tough times. Um, so kind of what do you do if you're at home, right? And uh, you're either by yourself or, you know, with your, your, your family. You know, how do you keep everybody emotionally strong? And so I had a few thoughts and tips for you. So interestingly enough, you know, went to the store the other day and uh, I thought, you know, what, what, what's a good way to keep yourself occupied? So went to the puzzle section. Guess what? No puzzles. So I guess I didn't really read that I knew toilet paper was like in demand and hard to get but also puzzles and I guess board games that uh, are the traditional kind of way to entertain you know friends and family so find something to play either you know and old school right so something that you can um, you know play around a, a table and have a conversation with the family I think the other interesting thing is all these chores that have been banking up over winter so is this an opportunity to spring clean, you know, clean the household, get things ready, um, you know, because uh, spring is just around the corner, although here in Colorado, I think we're going to get some, uh, some snow tonight. Um, what I did, interestingly enough, um, and I'm going to talk more about this in more detail, but I went on to a water fast about the beginning of, of uh, March or the end of February, and I kind of researched it and looked into, you know, what are the benefits of water fasting? And boy, did I find out that there was a whole lot of great things that your body actually does. So, you know, we talk about feast and famine and, and water fasting really is kind of that famine stage that you put your body into. And it actually obviously burns, burns uh, stored fat, um, but it also starts to regenerate your cells. It produces growth hormones. It produces stem cells, and a whole lot of other benefits, including, you know, uh, cleaning out your body of, of, of bad viruses, cleaning out your body of plaque in the brain, um, et cetera, et cetera. So if you've got some time, you're interested, want to look into it, obviously I'm not a doctor, but there's a lot of science, a lot of doctors talking about this stage called autophagy. So it's auto, which means self, 
phagy, which means eat. So uh, A-U-T-O-P-H-A-G-Y, so autophagy. Um, and it really talks about the process of the body um, that's been around since, you know, we started as the human race where it's a period of time where the body kind of cleans itself and looks after itself. So um, it also boosts your immune system. So surprisingly enough, if you're on a water diet, you're taking vitamins, you're taking electrolytes, the body will actually start to build up its immunity system. So, so take a look at that. So anyway, it's really a short episode today. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, we continued our dialogue um, and, uh, you know, I gave hopefully some helpful advice to folks that are out there, uh, someone to listen to. Um, and again, from my perspective, look, keep positive. Um, I think there's lots of things to keep ourselves occupied. Um, and just as a kind of summary, priority number one is to, to look after yourself, be safe, be safe, be healthy. Take this opportunity to really, you know, look at yourself, take a, take a checklist of things that you want to improve from a health standpoint. Again, that's mental and physical health. Um, reach out to your friends and family, your loved ones, those people that you probably wish you'd called recently or over the past year um, or even longer than that. You know, check in, give them positive uh, vibes, tell some funny stories. It's amazing as you walk down the street, you know, or go to a grocery store, a little smile, a little, hey, how are you doing, you know, from a distance, just so people think that there are other humans out there that, that, that care for them. Um, spring cleaning, watch movies, um, have some fun around the, the dinner table, um, and it, most importantly, just be really positive and, and prepare yourself for when this thing gets back to normal. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this quick summary. Uh, really in, uh, thank you for participating in the OK Boomer Show. Uh, hit that button, hit that bell, subscribe. And if you're up for it, you know, try and get some extra vitamin B with uh, that legendary Vegemite. I, I tell you, most people that try this for the first time think it's really nasty. So it's very salty. It looks like Nutella, but it's totally not Nutella. It's uh, very, very salty. But if you're an Australian and you were brought up with Vegemite on toast, there's nothing better to kind of bring back great memories. So Anyway, over and out, have fun, be safe, and look forward to the next episode. Thanks a lot.